Florida Mayhem are one of the most baffling teams in the league. They made it to Hawaii of all places in the Mayma Lee, before going on an eight-match loss streak over the June Joust in Summer Showdown. What happened? I'll be trying to break that down today. The first and biggest problem is the mental of the players. This is a talented roster, no one is denying that. Their Mamalee performance proves it. But the losses clearly had an effect on the players' mentals. They just played more and more sloppily as the season went on. And you have to include that insane strength of schedule as well. They went 1-3 and three in the June joust, but it was against teams who were admittedly very tough, such as Dallas, Washington and even Houston. But then they lost to Toronto, which boomed them into a loss against Boston, then the whole checkmate thing happened and they went 0-4. and four. Then they had another insane strength of schedule and ended 1-3. and three. Granted they did look improved over previous stages, but they still couldn't produce results. It had to have had an effect on their mentals. And in a league where anyone can upset anyone aside from some exceptions, that can be a death sentence. Another facet of their mentals is their inability to close out matches. They have gone to map 5 five times this season, and have lost that map every single time. I think it's another aspect of their poor mentals and likely low confidence. It extends to maps as well, however. They have a history of playing well but being unable to close out maps, seen against Washington and Boston, I would say. Hopefully a break from Overwatch League can help these guys get back on track mentally. Their second issue is lack of coordination. They are like many other teams this year, overly reliant on playmakers to open opportunities for the team. Granted, Yaki is insanely good, and does do that frequently, but it isn't enough especially when almost every team is cracked this year. I feel like this is due to the loss of two key shot callers. Fate and Chris. I don't want to rag on OGE that much but while he is skilled mechanically especially at the Hammond and Winston, he is boomed very easily, and clearly isn't a shot caller in the same capacity as Fate. Slime is also a clear mechanical upgrade, I would say, Chris was a key shot caller for the Mayhem last year, and without those two the coordination suffered. Which brings me to my last point. Holes in their roster. While I would say the meta didn't favor them that much, it still doesn't excuse their performances. BQB is great but doesn't have the best Samba. OG is shaky and is easily boomed to the point where he was subbed out for a DPS. Gargoyle is shaky on everything except Sigma. Slime's best hero is clearly the Lushio. Yaki can carry on just about anything, but there are clear holes in this roster that I would hope the Mayhem can cover up in this offseason. I would also go on a wager saying that they are a bit overrated, they had an insanely easy strength of schedule in the May Melee. They aren't 5 and 11 bad, but they aren't his top tier as their Hawaii performance would imply. Overall, poor mentals led to their exploitable weaknesses being exposed and it spiraled out of control until their performance post May Melee. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more. I upload almost daily Overwatch League and Valorant content and I am trying to hit 100 subs by Season 5 so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.